Hello everyone and welcome to my balcony garden. Today we're going to look at how to care for forget-me-nots grown in pots. I have a whole playlist about balcony gardening and growing plants in different kinds of pots and containers. I will link it above and you can check it out if you're interested. Let's get started. So the forget-me-not. I don't think I've seen a more adorable flower. Really. It's just, it's, it's too much. Forget-me-nots are a hardy, late spring flowering herbaceous plant native to Europe and is found in other temperate climates across the globe. There are a variety of varieties and cultivars and they are either annuals, biennials or perennials. Forget-me-nots are a very popular bedding plant. They're very versatile and also low maintenance and they're most commonly used in mixed spring containers so with other spring plants like primroses daffodils, tulips. You can also find them in mixed borders or woodland and wildlife areas of gardens as they are really loved by the pollinators. In terms of the way forget-me-nots grow, they have this upright form and they can grow to about 30 centimeters in height. They have hairy, what we call lanceolate leaves, so they taper at both ends. So they go pointy here and then pointy at the stem as well. The stems are also upright and also hairy and of course at the end of the stem the stalks here, they have this beautiful, delicate, five petaled flower. The flowers are around five millimeters in diameter and they have these yellow points in the center. And they are actually edible as well. They're really popular in baking. I've seen many cakes and little like fairy cakes and stuff with these on top of them. They're so cute. So now we know a little bit about how forget-me-nots grow. How do we care for them? So as I mentioned regularly in my videos, the best chance of success growing any type of plant, whether you're growing them inside or outside, in pots, in the open soil, is to replicate the conditions of where the plant grows naturally in the wild. You're gonna save yourself a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of money even, if you just allow the plant to tell you what it wants. And, and it does that by us looking at where it grows naturally and where it flourishes. As I mentioned before, forget-me-nots are commonly found in temperate woodlands, so they like cooler temperatures, they prefer a higher humidity, they like moist but not saturated soil, they also like shade or dappled sunlight, but with also times of full sun, full sun sorry, so you can imagine that they are growing before the tree canopy in a forest sort of fills up with leaves, it's still receiving that sunlight. So it does actually um, like and can tolerate full sun as well. So with all that in mind, when we are placing our forget-me-nots outside, place them in a partially shady to shady area, preferably with some protection from the elements. As I said, they can also handle full sun. So if you don't have a spot like that, with shade or partial shade in your growing space. Don't worry too much about it. Make sure that the soil is nice and light and free draining. It can be of a slightly poorer quality because if there are too many nutrients in the soil, if the soil is too rich, this is gonna encourage uh, foliage growth. So we're gonna see more leaves and less flowers. And of course, that's why we're that's what most of the time growing um, forget-me-nots because of the little beautiful flowers that's what we want. Make sure that the soil remains moist but not saturated so if you see your pots ever sitting in water make sure that you pour the excess water out. Depending on the temperatures where you are this could mean maybe watering once to twice a week and if you want to plant forget-me-nots with other plants in the container make sure that you don't pack them in too tight with the other plants. Make sure that you leave some space around the forget-me-not because they do have a tendency to develop mildew on their leaves. So if you allow that space around it, the air is going to flow nice, uh, nicely around the leaves so it's going to reduce the chance of mildew. And if you notice that the plant is starting to produce seed and also drop the seeds, you can either collect them and sow them somewhere else in your green space or into new pots or you can leave them in the pot or container and see if they will grow because if there's enough space in the pot, they could actually just grow. When we bring our pots inside, the same care applies. Make sure that the moist is, <laughs> make sure that the soil is moist but not saturated. And of course, when you bring it inside, our homes are normally warmer than outside in spring. So this could mean watering maybe two to three times a week. Place it in a bright space on a nice windowsill. It doesn't really matter which aspect, so north, south, east or west, it's okay. But make sure that it receives some sort of light at some point during the day. So after flowering, you have a few options of what to do. So if you're growing a perennial variety, you can keep caring for your forget-me-not in its pot. 
and care for it over the summer, allow it to grow and photosynthesize. And when it comes to autumn and winter, the, either the entire plant is going to die back or most of the green foliage is going to die back. Once it's done that, you can place the pot into a protected area, so something like a cold frame or just a protected area in your green space, ideally with a southerly exposure so it is going to receive some light. You can also store it inside in a light, cool part of your home. Water the pot sparingly. The roots are still alive because the plant has gone dormant. So again, we don't want it sitting, to, sitting into water. So just make sure, again, soil, moist, not saturated, never sitting in water. It's the same thing, really. Another option is to collect the seed that your plant is producing and then sow them in summer into a new pot or into open soil if you have this option. This is a good idea if you're growing an annual forget-me-not. Remember that if you are gathering and sowing seeds that are from biennial or perennial forget-me-nots, you're not going to see the flowers in the first year. It's going to be the second and third year that you're going to see the flowers. And then a third option is to divide the plant. This is going to encourage new growth. It's going to invigorate the plant. And of course, you're going to get plants for free. So it's always a benefit. So that was my video on how to care for Forget Me Not Grown in Pots. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, support the channel by subscribing. I hope you're all staying safe and well. And I send you all my love. And the Forget Me Nots do too. And I will see you in the next video.